Let's also talk about tech size. So for tech size, one of the things you want to do for accessibility is be able to resize text. So let me just give you an example. My eyes are old enough that it's difficult for me to read at what the standard font size is. So something like this in Reddit list can be hard to read, especially without glasses on for me. So I often will use a larger font size. So I'm doing a command plus right here to zoom in, which is going to increase the font size. What's important is of course, I have a responsive design application here that's running our website. So that it is not making me zoom in and have to scroll back and forth to see the data. So it's re flowing it. You should be able to go up to 200% and still be able to use a website. That is, you don't want to have things on top of one another at 200% or unable to be seen. Surprisingly, one website, the California DMP is actually pretty good about this. This is at a hundred percent. There's a hundred as I start increasing at 125%, notice the items in the nav bar, real ID online services, translate my DMV, all go into a menu, actually vehicle registration, driver's license, all those things now are in a menu as well. We scroll down, you can see, let's see these driver guides, for example. So we have these various driver guides that are laid out in a two dimensional grid. As I increase to, let's say 200%, then we no longer are in a grid. It actually uses kind of a scrollable tab. I can still see all of those various guides. The naive thing to do might have been to still keep it in a grid that had two columns. And these would have gotten very small in that case. That would have been quite difficult. Uh, a less naive thing to do might have been to reflow it into a grid with one column, but then it's going to use up a huge amount of vertical space. And so this is a nice approach as to how to deal with being able to zoom in, have large text size and still have a very useful website.